As the scientific community works to develop new immunotherapies, cutting-edge technologies are being developed to more easily predict patient response in the clinic. The technology that we have, uh, specifically, uh, we have two types of instruments. One is the Exelligence Real-Time Cell Analysis System, and the other one is a, the Novacyte Flow Cytometer, and more recently, our Quantion Flow Cytometer. And all of these instruments can uh, indeed be used for assessment of uh, immunotherapies. We are very happy to be working with Dr. Robert Prince at UCLA, who is uh, developing a novel immunotherapies, specifically immune checkpoint inhibitors, for glioblastomas. I have a laboratory where we do immunotherapy of malignant brain tumors, and I help um, do immune monitoring of clinical trials um, for malignant brain tumor patients. So we, we kind of stratify the boundary between clinical trials and basic science. One of our hypotheses, which has been borne out in the preclinical studies, is that myeloid cells are drawn into the tumor microenvironment and they're immunoinhibitory. And especially when you induce in, an active immune response, you, you bring in T cells, but you also bring in myeloid cells because of the inflammatory response. So in our hands, a vaccine plus a PD-1 blockade has been synergistic and necessary for an effective you know, clinical benefit in mice. The Exelligen system allows for development of what is referred to as real-time potency assays which allows uh, researchers to actually measure the effectiveness of these various immunotherapies. Our flow cytometer allows assessment of both immune cells and also cancer cells. So we can look at some of these biomarkers that are involved in uh, mediating cancer and at the same time immune cell activation. So you're always trying to assess the effectiveness of T cells against the, the tumor cell. We started using the Exelligence system here probably five to eight years ago, I think. I think we were one of the early adopters. What has been good about it is that you can measure the killing of the cells in real time. So you can see it in the first six hours, which is what you would typically do in regular radioactivity. But you can also measure it all the way down to as long as you'd like, 24 hours, and that allows you to see other types of killing that require transcription translation of other proteins, not just perforin granzyme release. And in our hands, it's been a useful assay and I think been relatively straightforward and you can do lots of perturbations relatively easily. With the Exelligent system, users can accurately measure tumor cell killing in real time to assess the effectiveness of various immunotherapies and more easily predict patient response in the clinic.